to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for thank you for the sacrifice to be here i saw so many people outside may the lord bless you one thing for sure is that you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ let me appreciate pastor sam thank you the lord bless you and your dear wife i want to truly honor the pfn chairman very humbled by your presence thank you sir the lord bless you in the name of Jesus, Pastor Mike Ako, God bless you. And every minister of the gospel, our politicians here present, may the Lord honor you in the name of Jesus. Let's wave our hands to heaven. I sing praises to your name. Oh, praises to your name. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Can you lift your hands to Jesus? I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name.
Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul. Can you open your mouth and ask the Lord for a definite encounter tonight? One encounter in His presence can change a man's life forever. Go ahead and pray. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, even with thanksgiving, it says to let our requests be made known unto God. Cry unto him from the depth of your heart. For someone here, you are a man of God. God is counting on you for the mighty things that he will be doing in this city. I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen carefully. I will teach. It will be a brief session tonight, but I truly believe that God is igniting people and setting people on fire when, when you come before the God of heaven, he does not leave you the way you came. Hallelujah. I want you, please, two things. I want you to be careful with our, our special guests in front, ushers. And then number two, just be careful with the cranes. But I want you right now to bring those who the power of God is coming on them right now. Inside and outside. The power of God will begin to fall on certain people right now please bring them out thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done strong anointing thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done the lord is opening doors same doors being opened in the spirit that anointing that is coming upon you is opening doors there is no power in existence that will keep that door shut we are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. We are standing in your presence on hold. Just be patient for a few minutes and we'll be seated. You ask him to come. When he comes, you will know. He touched me. Jesus touched me. And oh, 
watch or feel my soul Something happened And now I know He touched me and me Always like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, and every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise. And all night From the rising of the sun Till the end of every day Praise And all night All the nations of the earth every door of delay i'm prophesying to you now please bring them out that everyone under the sound of my voice i don't care what force has kept you down by the power that raised christ from the dead and at the count of three i speak to that door over the city of gombe hear the word of the lord that door be opened now Eba la kato shati kata paradus. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Is there someone by the name Rehila? I'm hearing a name Rehila. someone with the name Rehila God is bringing we may not have the time to see you but God is bringing a mighty deliverance to your family right now even by the Spirit of God oppression comes to an end now all those in front I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not of God I command it to let you go now. Release them now. Release them now. Now. Every spirit out of their destinies. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him. And given him a name that is above every other name. I declare your liberty now. I declare your liberty now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before you sit down, may I request that you open your mouth in one minute. And everything you are tired of that must let you go tonight, open your mouth and declare by faith. Everything that must let you go, that this Egyptian you see today, you will see no more forever. We are going to the world shortly, but pray. Hallelujah. Father, 
let our lives be testament that you visited us tonight move mightily among your people let your word come with power in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please be seated if you can those in front god bless you you may return back to your seats rejoicing just help those under the anointing all those who are in front you can return back to your seat as many who can you are delivered you are set free by the power of the holy spirit now tonight as i teach please be your brother's keeper whether you are an usher or not if anyone is under the anointing close to you please do help them so they do not injure themselves you can lift those who are in front here gently back to their seats for those who are unable to rise just leave them until they are fine I command every spirit to live in the name of Jesus you must let them go release them right now out of them finally never to return in the name of Jesus Christ let's just allow a minute or two so that they return to their seats please lead them ushers help them so that we go to the ministry of the world the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is you don't have to bring any more people don't worry just take them back someone help explain to those outside so that they understand what we're doing pray one prayer while we allow them go back to their seats speak to my heart oh god even by the power of your spirit may your word come with power may it change my life in the name of jesus those who can't stand just let them be when they are strong enough they'll stand and return back to their seats i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Babu wani kamarka. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that Babu wani kamarka. Babu wani kamarka. Yeah, Jesus, I'm one of the camera. I'm one of the camera. Yeah, Jesus, I'm one of the Very simple song. I'm one of the camera. Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Babu wani kamaruka I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that I'm one Sing it as a declaration unto him. I'm one Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu You see, please let me have your attention Those under the anointing, you can just gently take them But now, let me have your attention We'll begin the teaching of the word now when God calls for meetings like this 
please listen very carefully when God calls for meetings like this there are avenues to help people encounter him at a greater and at a higher level even in heaven John was asked to come up hither and that there were other things that he had not yet seen and he had not yet known you have come tonight to learn the hallelujah you are help me sound praise the lord you have come tonight to encounter the god of the bible i leave you with one assurance you will never go back the way you came in the name of jesus i want to teach for a few minutes and then we'll pray by the way do not forget that we have tonight and then we have a session in the morning tomorrow pay whatever price you can by god's grace to be around the details will be announced later on and then i move to bauchi and we'll have a phenomenal time tomorrow evening in bauchi with pastor mike and the entire lovely people of bauchi state but i want us to consider for the time that we have the book of acts chapter 6 we'll read from acts chapter 6 i'll begin my reading from verse 1 i just want to establish a few things i kept thinking about all the things that i had to share and when you come to a city like this sometimes the lord will put such a burden you can discern the many spiritual things that the lord would want to reveal to his people but we thank god for the men and the women of god who are here standing and when we are done by the grace of god they will continue as they build the church of the lord jesus christ even in this city acts chapter 6 let me turn to it here and okay the bible says in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied the bible says there arose a murmuring of the grecians against the hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration verse 2 Okay, let me just turn it here for sake of time so that we'll conserve time the bible says then the 12 called unto the multitude of the disciples and they chose They said it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Verse 3. Wherefore, brethren, they said, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Verse 4. If you can see it projected, let's read together. One to read. But we will give ourselves continually hold on we will give ourselves how long continually not once in a while not when occasion demands we will give ourselves please leave that scripture there continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word they said do not distract us with these matters that you bring before us if we intend to grow and to be established as apostles of the lord jesus christ we must continue practicing the secrets that have brought us thus far we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and to the ministry 
of the world please look up many believers want to experience the fullness of the life the grace the power of god everyone here by the grace of god has a destiny in christ and if i'm to probe every one of us one by one you will agree with me and you will concur that it is your desire to see yourself rise to the highest level in life whether in ministry in politics like we have our politicians here in business in whatever endeavor unfortunately not many people ever rise to become and maximize the fullness of God's expectation for them spiritually and otherwise and there is an explanation for that hallelujah praise the name of the Lord so we find occasions where people love Jesus sincerely but they find out that their lives are bankrupt of growth always especially spiritually what then is the secret that controls ever increasing growth ever increasing excellence in every area of life we have preachers here men and women of God the fathers of faith here and many of you scattered across and I know that many of you desire to see greater levels of God's grace at work in your life you desire to see increases of all kinds spiritually in membership there is nobody who is not motivated in the presence of results you see Jesus himself taught us the power of results when he saw a tree that lured him he came to that tree thinking he would find fruit and not finding fruits the Bible says he cursed the tree and he said that no man will eat of you our world today is full of frustrated people frustrated pastors frustrated businessmen frustrated politicians frustrated family people why because it looks like the things that they read in scripture they are not able to walk in the experience of it what exactly is the problem the psalmist cried they cry and he said oh god you are my god he says early will i seek you my soul longs for you my heart thirsts for you as in a dry and weary land where no water is he says to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary it is god's desire that gumbe state and every church every business everything represented within this region that it becomes a true reflection of the glory and the power and the grace of God but you see everything physical starts from the realm of the spirit are we together now Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1 says now faith is he calls it the substance of things hoped for he says it is the evidence of things not seen then it says for by it the elders obtained a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are physical or do appear that means the things the material things we see came from a dimension that is spiritual in context whatever goes wrong with your spiritual life will eventually find expression in your finances in your health every other thing that happens in your physical life is a report card to the health of your spirit are you learning already so we desire to see God lift us we desire to see prosperity from every dimension we desire to see the power and the grace of God at work in our lives but here the apostles give us the secret behind their life of exploits they literally turn their world upside down and they said the secret is that we refuse anything that sustains the power to distract us we will give ourselves continually 
to the ministry of prayer and to the ministry of the word the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word now for a very long time and i want you to please pay attention for a very long time in the body of christ for some reason we've had people take the option of the ministry of prayer or the option of the ministry of the word so on one hand we have people who believe in the ministry of prayer as the ultimate recommendation for growth impartation excellence and advancement and then on the other hand we have the people who believe in the power of the word exclusively as the secret to growth and for a very long time in the body of christ we've had these divisions and this contention so we have prayer people as we call it and then we have word people as we call it and here the apostles are correcting us that something is wrong with that understanding that if you are to grow holistically you are not given the liberty to choose the ministry of prayer or the ministry of the word he says we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word you see one of the dangers that is plaguing the body of christ today is not necessarily ignorance i submit to you that by the grace of god god has helped us to a measure to be able to bring levels of revelation and knowledge in the body of christ but the challenge largely and the reason why we are not able to become people of stature is because of imbalance negligence of certain dimensions and over emphasis of certain dimensions now please look up there are many women here and um, i know that you cook well in gombe state if i'm right say amen. amen hallelujah now if you are preparing a wonderful meal say you are preparing your soup salt is needed your tomatoes and your vegetables are all needed but they are not all needed at the same degree or to the same degree is that true if you fetch a handful of vegetables you don't put a handful of salt but salt is needed now when your whole food becomes one measure of salt is that food again you have destroyed it but is salt wrong no salt is not wrong but how you applied it is what can destroy that whole soup so the problem is not the revelations listen carefully the problem is not the revelation and the different truths that we have the problem is that it has not been arranged in a methodical order that builds the believer holistically so you find out that we keep doing what is right and yet we never get results so there are people who pray sincerely and yet you find out that I, my the energy i am dissipating in prayer versus the results that follow is not matching then we have people who supposedly study the word of god and criticize people who pray and say it's not about prayer it's just about the word of god and they themselves become frustrated so people in the body of christ today are confused what then controls the results that motivate my christian experience there are sincere men of god who walk in holiness and righteousness sincere people who love god with all their heart they have applied everything they know to do that makes for growth and makes for excellence and it looks like there's no results every time you have a problem in your life i assure you the problem is not with god let god be true and all men liars so my assignment tonight within the minutes that i have is to bring together these various groups and help you understand that all of you are carrying pieces of the truth and none of you will excel in isolation by the time the ministry of prayer says the ministry of the word you have no business just pray you will be in for a 
bitter frustration by the time you ignore the ministry of prayer and focus on the ministry of the word and say i'm just studying the word you are still going to get into big error we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word are we learning now this is very powerful that means both ministries are important for the holistic growth and development of the believer now please look up the ministry of the word and prayer was classically revealed in scripture by jesus christ himself number one the bible calls him the word of god the logos of god are we together then when we get to mark chapter 4 the bible says when jesus was baptized of the holy ghost listen carefully this is the word now you would think because he was the word he would not need to engage prayer again but as the word the moment he encounters he encountered the spirit of god the bible says the holy spirit himself drove him to the wilderness and he was there praying for 40 days no food no water who was praying the word so even the word prayed as the word of god he was engaged in prayer and engaged in fasting why would he have to pray again when he was the word of god the ministry of the word and prayer now watch this give us mark chapter matthew chapter 4 matthew chapter 4 will we have it projected let me just use my own bible here so we okay the bible says then was jesus we are reading from verse 1 to maybe 6 or so then was jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil verse 2 the bible says when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was hungry now watch carefully we are about to see the unity of the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word the bible says the tempter came to him who did the tempter come to the man who had been praying and fasting for 40 days when he came to him he said if thou be the son of god command that these stones be made bread verse 4 but jesus answered i just finished praying is that what he said you thought that just because he had prayed for 40 days now satan came to him what he used to drive satan was not his prayer he said it is written <laughs> haven't prayed for 40 days haven't prayed for 40 nights if he did not know what was written satan would still defeat him as if all of his prayer was a waste listen the secret of his victory he did not say satan leave me alone I just finished praying that means his prayer alone did not drive satan in spite of his prayer and fasting the first person he met after pray you would think that prayer and fasting should drive satan away but the first person he met after prayer and fasting was satan and satan was not shaking under the anointing he came to him and he said you are hungry turn this stone to bread We will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word when satan came to jesus he did not even respect the fact that he had been in constant touch with the father he said if you are the son of god turn this stone to bread do you know if jesus fell for that temptation both him and the person who did not fast will have the same failure now you imagine how frustrating that is and jesus said verse 4 it is written not i think not respect my prayer it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of satan verse 5 
then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple verse 6 now and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself down for it is who is saying it is written satan himself now satan has switched now you want to show me you know scripture let's discuss scripture i also know what is written it is written keep it there please he shall give his angels he's testing his knowledge of the word since i see that your life is all about respecting what is written let me see what discernment you have now the discernment that has come from the place of prayer is what is assisting him to be accurate in ministering the word because satan now is also using scripture it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands shall they bear thee lest thou dash your foot against the stone so just because it is written if he did not have the foundation of prayer he will fall for that temptation because the temptation now is according to what is written are you seeing the danger of just having a word life without prayer the devil will use what is written and destroy you because your respect is to the ministry of the word and not prayer it is prayer that is able to build that discernment in acts chapter 16 the bible talks about paul the bible talks about a lady who had the spirit of divination and that this girl brought great gain are we together now Get great gain for her masters and when she saw the apostles she said these are holy men of god she was using truth but it took discernment from the residue of a healthy prayer life he said although what you are saying is right the spirit that is behind what you are saying is wrong and he rebuked the lady many believers do not understand the role that prayer plays in the life of the believer and the role that the word plays in the life of the believer you will never be able to be a person of stature and balance and accuracy and efficiency until you understand the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word both of them do not do the same thing they work together harmoniously in synergy to produce a victorious believer but prayer has its own ministry there are dimensions that prayer covers there are dimensions that the word covers the key is to understand that it is a combination of the ministry of prayer and the word that was the formula that the apostles left with us any deviation out of this formula will lead us into various shades of error we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and of the word <laughs> is god blessing someone first corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24 show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to walk in the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest everybody please read what you can see there if you can find it are you ready one to read but unto them which are called both jews and greeks christ is the power of god and the wisdom of god one more time but unto them aha uh -huh. i 
want to teach you something these two dimensions you see are the children of the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word please that every time you engage in prayer and you engage in the word what you will get as a result of both encounters is an anointing but that that anointing is expressed in two dimensions the anointing that comes from the ministry of prayer reveals itself as the power of god dunamis but the anointing that comes from the ministry of the word expresses itself as the power of god authority exousia the capacity to delegate by reason of intelligence follow very carefully now the bible says to everyone who is called when the anointing is revealed through those ministries you will experience two things the power of god and the wisdom of god he said it is still christ that is revealed the word christ here means the anointing that means if i submit myself to the ministry of prayer there is a dimension of the anointing that will be derived from that ministry dunamis i will see the workings of the power of god in my life but that does not mean i will have the spiritual intelligence to walk in victory so i can be a powerful man of god able to pray and the sick will be healed and i will be poor i will be broke i may not understand the principles of leadership the devil can take my life any day because they know not neither will they understand as far as prayer is concerned i can submit myself to pray and because there is an anointing that is derived from the ministry of prayer so we have many powerful people who do not have the requisite level of spiritual intelligence to overcome the evil that comes with the day very anointed but there is a bankruptcy of spiritual intelligence then the bible talks about the wisdom of god that comes from the word of god are we together now there are people who neglect the ministry of prayer and they have the wisdom of god when you listen to them you will hear intelligent truths but the power to defend that proposition is not there they can tell you what god can do they can tell you beautiful things i know this god i'm serving and show you mysteries after mystery but when the time for performance comes the grace to make what they have said become flesh is no longer there are we learning remember what we are dealing with i hope we're still together that we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and to the ministry of the word that both ministries there are two distinct kind of anointings that must be derived from those ministries and they are equally important for the maturity and the excelling of the believer can i tell you the disaster that we have in church today respectfully is largely as a result of these imbalances when it has to do with the power dimension it is usually the apostolic and the prophetic ministry and because power seems to have a, char a charismatic quality usually people just submit themselves to prayer and they do not understand doctrine and the soundness of the word as a result many supernatural things happen within the ministry but with it will come various shades of error for instance calling somebody's wife a witch because of prophecy you see you you may be by reason of prayer your eyes have been opened to see spiritual things but the word bank that interprets it to align with scripture is not there so you will keep bringing a lot of confusion in interpretation because what you saw was correct but your interpretation was wrong it depended on your word bank which is not there are we together so God can open my eyes for instance prophetically by reason of engaging in the ministry of prayer and I can see maybe a coffin and see someone's name written there 
now it is true what i saw is a revelation of what satan wants to bring to that family it now depends on my knowledge of scripture to prove the dominion of the power of god over that situation if all i know is prayer i will interpret it the way i saw oh god i just saw you you are dying because that is the limit of what the power of god can do but if you understand that the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy that means in anything prophetic you do it must testify about jesus there must be that life-giving component in what you are saying it will now alter my interpretation of that experience in a way that demonstrates the victory that is in christ there is no limit to the casualties we will keep having in the body of christ as a result of choosing one or the other of these ministries on the other hand you may have people who have that wisdom they will build intelligent systems but the sick will remain sick the oppressed will remain oppressed people will come and sing and share the grace and everybody will say god can do it there's sickness in my body oh he's a healer oh this chapter this verse this this chapter this verse this and the demons are sitting at ease and joining the service too because the power that takes them is not there can i tell you it is very dangerous to know what should be and not have the power to make it happen sooner or later members will get tired that is the truth like it's happening in many many assemblies right now to the point that when we men of god now say lift up your hands for blessings members know that look i'm used to this your talk wisdom there is no power i don't doubt the truthfulness of what you are saying but can i for god's sake have a testimony that becomes a consolation to all you are saying are we together the danger of the prayer ministry without a sound word based is all shades of error that largely comes because of the prophetic inclination of the ministry of prayer for instance in the place of prayer God can give me an instruction and say Joshua Selman for the next five years you are not going to have more than two cars that came to me by prayer it is my personalized dealing with God if I do not understand the character of scripture, I will turn that unique instruction into a doctrine and force all the members that anybody who has more than two cars, you are walking in error based on my experience. And what is largely destroying the body of Christ is we are converting personalized dealings and instructions into... That is wrong. You see... If I come up with that template, it is only the person who is called into the apostolic or the prophetic ministry who would benefit from the template I'm giving. The person who is now called to be a politician and a businessman, he will feel intimidated because it will look like he's not serious with God. Let me teach you something. You see, when you are building people holistically by the ministry of prayer and the word, are we still here? I hope I've not lost you. The word of God gives a general ground for growth. But as you begin to grow, based on whatever your destiny is in Christ, the Holy Ghost begins to allocate your own customized training. The way he will train an apostle and a prophet is not the same way he will train a politician. It's not the same way. He, are you getting me now? So I cannot say my template and my experience must be the alpha and the omega of how growth should be no god is training a young man see if god is calling me to be a prophet chances are you will find out that although we may start in the same prayer group or we may start in the same church as time goes on we will diverge to different unique dealings for the man who will later be a prophet you will find out that something will start changing in his appetite he can go for a 50 days fasting and not even know why there is an energizing upon him by reason of what he will be doing a businessman may not have that kind of engracing and now the businessman will be intimidated because he is forced to subscribe to the template of the prophet 
if we do not bring wisdom to the body of Christ believe me when I tell you this people will keep pretending until we lose our stand spiritually the power of God and the wisdom of God. there are some of you here the more you pray and the more you fast you find out that you are having an unusual passion for education because there is a grace and if you do not understand how God builds men you may feel guilty and say why is it that it looks like the kind of passion my brother has for church and for prayer he can come and lie down on the altar here for one week whereas you there's a passion for you to go and get a PhD form and go abroad and now you feel guilty not knowing that it is the allocation of your destiny that is calling you so the yardstick that measures spirituality in our world today is becoming a pastor are you seeing why there are many people in ministry today who are in ministry but not necessarily called as pastors but because that is the template they have been told they will leave the thing God asks them to do and become pastors because that they want to ease the guilt of looking like they are not serious spiritually because when you say those who are spiritual stand up usually is the people who pray the politician you say what did they know about being spiritual businessman what did they know about being spiritual go and read the book of Daniel and see that the person who represented the purposes of God there was a politician go and read the book of Genesis and see that Joseph who brought salvation to Israel to Egypt Israel in Egypt it was an economic solution that he preferred listen do you know why I'm teaching you this if you do not get this balance you will never see development come to Gombe it is the error that has destroyed the north we are people of prayer but there is no development no advancement no nothing our children will leave God and go into something else and then if we do not rearrange this template there will come a generation that will not know this God we are crying about yes sir you've heard me say that there is one thing that is greater than the truth the whole truth if your truth is not the whole truth it can still destroy I've had the privilege to travel around by reason of what I do and when I go to cultures and regions I study cultures and I talk with people trying to get the understanding where we got our mindset from and for a long time in the body of Christ and especially around the middle belt and the north as we call it there has been an emphasis on the evangelical dimension of Christianity which is important that captures everything from salvation to morality and prayer and that is a very good background but we have hardly understood the principles that make for kingdom advance and territorial dominion the result is the current economic and sociological state of our society can I tell you you can be a prayer warrior but one policy by people who do not fear God can rubbish both you your church and your program in one day completely now we are beginning to reap the consequences of our carelessness and that's why God is putting platforms like this to give us intelligence to say yes you need both the wisdom and the power of God there are many many great men of God in this place you have tested the power of God listen let me tell you I have met men of God in my life I have met people some of them nobody knows about them but when you look at them you will see you can sense tremendous power there is the health of their energy by reason of investing in the prayer ministry but there is hardly the manifestation of the wisdom of God absolutely nothing works in their life nothing at all there is nothing in their life that can give you the desire to see that God is at work in this vessel or there may be a few things at work and with it comes a plethora of imbalances
please listen to me believers I came with a burden and a passion more than miracles signs and wonders which are important we need to begin to contend for the ministry of the word that administers the wisdom of God the Bible says through wisdom a house is built by understanding it is established it says through knowledge the house the rooms are filled with every pleasurable thing can I tell you it will take wisdom to pay the school fees of your children husbands it will take wisdom for you to be an effective husband you can be a prayer warrior respectfully speaking but if you do not understand the principles of being a father a husband and a priest you can be so deep in prayer and yet you will wreck your home into pieces many of us here have come from homes with pain by well-meaning christian parents who had the power of god but did not have the wisdom of god and then on the other side of the pendulum we have people who have the wisdom of god and they even stretched it to the border their entire idea of christianity is intellectualism the moment you say pray pray five minutes they say oh no 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 there are no demons anywhere it's just your mind and all kinds of ideas come to downplay the ministry of prayer you fast fast for what and you find out that for these kinds of people they may have the wisdom of god but they later become frustrated because they keep proposing things that they do not have the power to defend Jesus can give children. They quote scripture from Genesis to Revelation. Now a barren woman stands before you and say, man of God, I was lured by your message and I perceive you are a powerful man of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that child come. Ten years, nothing has happened because there is the wisdom of God that communicates truth. But the power of God that makes the word become flesh is not there. Is someone hearing me? Why am I teaching this? The Lord put this in my heart. Please look at me. Many of you right now as you are seated here, if I ask you to submit your prayer request right here, you are sincere people. Some of you are workers in church. Some of you have prayer groups. Some of you are even pastors. But you are finding out right now that you have high blood pressure. It's not because you are not praying, you are not fasting. The financial bills on you, the trouble to pay rent and venue, and your wife is asking you and saying, this ministry thing we are doing, I hope there is a plan for our children. And it's now beginning to frustrate your own spiritual life. You keep seeing the power of God, but the wisdom that builds systems is not there. Jesus did not just leave us his power alone. The same spirit that is called the power of God is also called the spirit of wisdom. I made up my mind as a man of God that I will not bring failure and reproach to my life by ignoring any dimension as recommended by Jesus and even the apostles. I can tell you most times when you see people who God has lifted, most times people believe they are just anointed you are right provided you can explain the dimension of the anointing there is the anointing that comes as the power of god but there is the anointing that comes as the wisdom of god i have met great men and women of god for instance i'm using ministry just as, as an example and based on what i saw in their lives the nation should be hearing them but the wisdom that makes for growth and influence they do not have yet they are genuinely powerful greater than the joshua selmans by reason of their sacrifices but the wisdom for growth is not there and there are sincere people i have had people come to me and say apostle i spent time studying the word there is no man of god whose message i have not listened to why are things not working in my life because you have accessed the wisdom of God. But can I tell you, when it has to do with advancement, it is power that moves you forward. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, 
kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching